Hi, Kendall Raruca, Buyer Specialist with the Lucas Howard Group and Board Member of the Ada Business Association. Today we are at Dixon Architecture with Ken Dixon, who's the owner, and Ken's going to tell us a little bit more about what's going on with the Village of Ada. So we have some of these great drawings that you'll see back here behind us, and Dixon has designed a lot of those That's true. for the Village. That's true. So one of my favorites that we use for a lot of our ABA meetings is the Roselle Park Center here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, what this building is supposed to serve as and how it was designed? Sure, sure. We had a great opportunity to uh, design the building for the township a uh, year and a half ago or so. Um, it's located in Roselle Park down Grand River uh, Drive. Uh, the building serves as a uh, community gathering space uh, for uh, small to medium sized groups. There's a big meeting space on the other side of these windows here, but primarily it's open uh, every day of the week for restrooms. There's uh, men's and women's restrooms and a drinking fountain on the interior. Yep, and it's my understanding that come fall, this will actually be available for private groups to rent out as well. It's fully wired with AV and everything that you it's need. It's got a very large screen. It's probably got a 20 or to 30 inch wide screen uh, with uh, high tech uh, capabilities. I know we've enjoyed it. It's a beautiful building. <laughs> <laughs> and then some of the other things, you're also working on the new building for Spectrum Health? That's true, yep. Spectrum Health uh, is building a uh, 25,000 square foot two-story building here in the village. Uh, primarily women's health, uh, but there is a magnitude of other services allowable uh, for its patrons. It's hard to believe when you drive by that it's actually 25,000 square feet. You really crammed a lot of square footage into a small footprint. It was uh, an attempt to try to keep it to the small scale of the village, uh, using the gable facades and the smaller windows, uh, and not anything too modern uh, for the historic village. And speaking of historic, you're also on the board of the Avril Museum. That's true. And I understand they're doing a fundraising project right now to expand the museum? They are. Uh, we've been uh, becoming much more relevant in the community and uh, being much more involved. The music on the lawn uh, was a little bit of our brainchild. Uh, but continuing to be participating in the, uh, the village, uh, we are now uh, really focusing on the actual museum activities, the archiving of uh, historical products. Uh, as well as education. Uh, so we're looking at about a, a 2,500 uh, square foot uh, addition, which again includes the archiving and a space to bring in uh, visitors for uh, historical education of the village. And now Music on the Lawn has actually transitioned into Beers at the Bridge, correct? That's true, that's true. <laughs> uh, Beers at the Bridge, as you know, there's, there's three events uh, coming up this summer. Yep. but. Uh, in between those beers at the bridge, there is still music on the lawn uh, at the Avery Museum. Fantastic. And now let's go to this. This is one of my favorite drawings. This is the rendering of the new Ada Village Master Plan. And this little corner right here is currently where Spoon Lickers and McDonald's and all of those are. Right. And this is going to be the brand new Kingmas. That's right. And you guys were designing that building. We had the great opportunity to do that as well. And this whole complex. So we've got where that's going to go in, and then what, what are you calling those, B2, um, B3, B4? Correct, correct. This is kind of the B, B, uh, the B block. It's also called the market, uh, Marketplace Square uh, is the, what we're shooting for, for the identity of this square here. So anyone that wants a close-up, you can actually go to the township's website, agatownship.org, and see this in greater detail. But you can see we have a new river walk here and then there's going to be interior parking lots inside of those buildings. So I think some of these are just beautiful that, that you guys are designing. Yeah, them up not there. only is uh, Kingwas Market uh, currently under, under construction, which will be completed September 1st, uh, but also the B2 building or the Legacy building, uh, which is under construction, which is a three-story uh, building with two, uh, two smaller portions uh, to it at the, at the far east end. Well, you guys have just done an amazing job Thank with you. designing all of these new buildings that are going in. They're beautiful. Thank you. And, and they just really fit and match the plan of, of what we have for the Village of Ada. Well, I would say we, uh, we really have our heart in what we're doing here. Um, this is my hometown. I grew up in Ada, uh, played baseball at Lions Field and Leonard Field, uh, went to school at Forest Hill Central High School. Um, I live here in Ada, and obviously now I work here in Ada, so it, uh, everything we do here in the village is really uh, tugs at my heart towards. And you're mostly commercial design, correct? Or That's correct. That's correct. Um, although we do find ourselves uh, 
dabbling into the residential, really interesting type uh, residential projects, we, we take those on as well. And what's your favorite thing about Ada? Favorite thing about Ada is the small town feel. When I walk down the street and can wave at friends driving by or going into the, the shops and the restaurants and knowing the business owner and having discussions with the business owner. Just that, that small town feel. I sit in my window in my office and my mother <laughs> drives by and honks at me and I wave out to her. I, just those small little instances, I just love that small town feel. Well, we love having you here too. If you need some commercial design work done, check out Dixon Architecture. It's at the corner of the New Headley and Ada Drive in that beautiful brick building that you designed. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Thanks for having us, kids. Thank you.